Hey y'all, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Lots of love and many blessings your way. Hey you guys, I had to take a little bit of a break, nothing big, just eight days to regroup, man. I had, uh, you know, I can't save the world and there's two things that just get me. Actually three, elder abuse, animal abuse, and child abuse. And when I was, um, in the, in the throes of those audio clips, it did something to my spirit, and uh, it really messed with me. I got completely overwhelmed emotionally, and I couldn't handle it. So, uh, saying that, I'm back. I also want to say that um, they're, they're shutting down all the truth channels. So, if I'm here one day and gone the next, it's not because I packed up and gave up. It's because I was, you know, shut down. And lastly, I want to thank Suzanne Campbell. You know, your comment was the sweetest, and your friendship means a lot to me, and I appreciate you very much. I had a viewer ask me to research Alex Soros and Meghan Markle, and when doing so, I found what looked to be Meghan Markle, sure enough, with Alex Soros at a spirit cooking event, and um, even though I cannot prove that's her, it looks very much, uh, very much like Meghan Markle, and I have absolutely found that they're using stand-ins for Meghan. She has probably three or four, and you'll see those pictures, um, you know, throughout this video. However, getting back to the spirit cooking thing, I'm going the the video that follows this one will show you how the Soros are absolutely connected with the British royal family in such a way that will probably knock your socks off when you know the truth and that's all I'm trying to do is get the truth out there it's been no secret for the last several years since uh, spirit cooking started trending uh, via Marina Abramovich she is an, a red witch she's an occult high priestess but anyway we'll talk about her in just a second it's been no secret that all the elites and um, the upper crust so to speak attend her spirit cookings and she wants to say that it's done in the name of art and in in reality it's not it's not a fun dinner party um, with artistic flair it's just not she, she has um, brainwash just just another form of brainwashing and people that are not wide awake people that are in comas don't realize it and they think it's fashionable and chic and cool and you know even highbrow or philosophical and it's none of those things what it is is a satanic curse um if you're not familiar with alice bailey let me tell you a little bit about her Alice Bailey was one of the most influential witches in the 20th century and she was quoted as saying to base art and make it run mad promote new forms of art which will corrupt and defile the imagination of people because art is the uh, language of the spirit that which is inside you can bring out in painting music drama etc and Marina Abramovich uh, took this to a whole nother level see the world's in fact controlled by a satanic occult elite that are psychologically conditioning the masses into accepting their dark reality and that's just the truth of the matter okay um, it, art's been hijacked by Luciferians. It's being used in conjunction with mass media, PSYOP, terrorist programs to subvert, invert everything that is truthful, beautiful, and pure. And Marina Abramovich has become the high priestess of the satanic art world. Her art is subversive and oppressive, anti-art. Okay, her modus operandi incorporates occult symbology and ritual at every opportunity. She performs psychological techniques and hypnosis to place viewers and participants into a trance-like state. And the goal is to perpetuate lies under the guise of illusion. It's all done blatantly in plain sight as required by the rules of satanic magic. The purpose is to deceive while at the same time eliciting consent from the willing participants. She's trying to make everything... Um, really cool really hip really chic and it's just not it's not you guys it's not okay cannibalism is not cool do you guys think cannibalism is something awesome i don't it's disgusting okay all it is is just anti-biblical anything that these elite system can do 
and and they incorporate these people such as Blondie and they brainwashed all these actors and and everybody that you and I we're just common people you know are are watching on TV and looking up to my kids love Will Ferrell yet he's bellied up to one of these dinner tables with this body that you're supposed to take a slice of made of cake but it's portraying cannibalism does that make sense I hope I'm making any kind of sense I feel like I'm ranting and maybe I am but I'm just really pissed off at where the world is today and where it's headed man we, we need to get this stuff together we need to get it checked quick I found the best blog relating to this and it explains things how the occult art is used to mock Christianity no matter what your spiritual or philosophical foundation or your cultural inclination is it's clear that tolerance and understanding toward other viewpoints is just being replaced by deceitful aggression towards and distortion of anything related to biblical Christian precepts and teachings. Abramovich is leading the pagan charge using art as a means of propaganda to subvert and destroy that which is wholesome, pure and morally right. This art isn't just harmless promotion of the occult or neo-pagan ide ideology and practice. It's an attempting, it is attempting to undermine and eradicate what it views as harmful and obsolete. Many Satanists have stated this goal openly and it's in the public record. Christianity has been, um, and is being scapegoated as the cause of evil over the last two millenniums. History vindicates instead that Christianity has provided the stable moral framework that has enabled knowledge and culture to flourish in an environment of peace. The wars and revolutions were and are being caused by uh, the Jesuits in attempting to control societies through moral subversion and control of money. They're still at it today behind the scenes and they're worldwide plan for control is almost finished please do the research and get the truth don't take my word for it you guys you guys i couldn't put a lot of her um pieces up here in my video because it was just absolutely too um ghastly to do so and i would have definitely had a strike on my channel uh in doing so i had to um not include a lot of her pieces because they were so disrespectful to Christ and they were so lewd um, just disgusting and crude but I will tell you this they are complete mockery of all Christian artwork um, like she makes you know Mary to into a scarlet whore she mocks Jesus Christ carrying the black goat or sheep on her shoulders, twisting not only gender roles, but the notion of purity and innocence of the lamb. Uh, she takes a bare-breasted female, and uh, he, she's supposed to be Judas, hanging in mock crucifixion pose, holding two snakes, you know, depicted uh, ridiculing and and. and the source of new life offered through Christ's death on the cross and his subsequent resurrection from the dead. And it's just pure disgusting. The aim is to mix or dilute religious ideas and symbols into a deceptive neo-pagan fusion that will result finally in the institution of a false new world religion. She says that you see what is my purpose of performance artist is to stage certain difficulties and stage the fear uh, for fear the primordial fear of pain of dying all of which we have in our lives and then stage them in front of audience and go through them and tell the audience I'm your mirror if I can do this in my life you can do it in yours does the public really need this kind of sadist sadistic mirror to help them with their their pain she's disgusting and on Twitter she has stated openly that uh, an occult magic ritual performance in the museum gallery is art but done in private isn't art now tell me what changed between public spaces and private spaces the effect is exactly the same you guys playing with demons in public or private 
has the same satanic effect on unsuspecting participants. Abramovich isn't content to settle for occult promotion. She wants to insult and blasphemy against blaspheme against what she hates. Art has been co-opted by the Satanist ruling elite who are guiding the world towards World War III and the destruction of the human race. Their aim is total world control. We all know that. The only obstacle to their objective is Christian faith and morality. This art is a clear example of how cultural Marxism is being used against Western culture in order to, to just destroy it, you guys. So, Abramovich is simply an agent of destruction like many others in the cultural field to infiltrate art, then pollute it, falsify it, and finally destroy it right in front of our eyes. Although Abramovich is portrayed as some kind of heroine, the nice, sincere girl next door, don't be duped by, by her false presentation. Many killers, perverts, rape, rapists, and sadists, they have also been recorded as sincere and even charming individuals. Nevertheless, their diabolical actions and heinous crimes against humanity are written in history and are evident for all the research. Now, I have some pictures here put out that um, you'll see things covered with black goo. It looks like a black wax. Um, it's really black rain. That's another, that's another term for it. But all it is, it's a substance, uh, in the abyss. And the abyss is a real place. According to the books of Revelation and Enoch, they are creatures who are living in this place. Revelations calls them locusts with human faces and large horse-like bodies. While Enoch describes them as watchers who committed sin against the daughters of men, fornication, they were placed in a pit to be held until the time of their release upon earth for the purpose of judgment. Black rain, black goo, it describes an infection that entered into humanity through humanity and passed through generations. Interestingly, the term black rain was coined in World War II to describe the nuclear devastation and the effects that it has on the human body. We see black rain and goose symbolism used in Hollywood propaganda. The, the apple in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was dipped in this substance. We also see Lady Gaga entering into the abyss where she bathes in the black rain. Once she's drowned in it, she emerges with a crown on her head. An obvious reference to Abaddon, Abad the king of the abyss. And Lady Gaga, in that commercial that she did with the, the black uh, goo, the black rain, she's among giant men wearing red capes. These Nephilim are at least 10 feet tall in height. She's portraying the agenda of the abyss, and that's to be released upon the earth, you guys. This is super serious. This is real. This is happening. This is not a movie. This is not a book. And I'm sorry I've dragged it out, but I just think that everybody needs to know what's really going on. And if, uh, you know, if you're not right with God, if you don't have your heart in the right place, all you have to do, don't be afraid. They have wanted, for you guys that are here, I appreciate every one of you. If you're an atheist or agnostic or you don't believe in Jesus Christ, do me a favor and ask yourself why. Go inside, take a, a day or whatever, search yourself and ask yourself why. Is it because you were raised to feel a certain way or you grew up seeing this, reading this, hearing this? Remember, they only put out, they only teach us, they only tell us and show us what they want us to do. We're supposed to follow their lead. And that's just, uh, they're baiting the trap. All we're doing by, by them setting that notion in your mind is you're accepting the bait at the end of that cage. And when that door comes down, it's done. I want you to understand that Jesus Christ totally died on the cross for your sins. Um, he's not a scary God. He's not what they've portrayed him to be. Some giant mean monster in the clouds that's going to smite you at everything you do wrong. We all sin. We all fall short. 
to the glory of God. And that's just the way it is. We're human beings. And he expects us to absolutely sin. There's no doubt. We were born into it. But all you have to do is ask for forgiveness. And I know this video is definitely going to be taken down. I'm sure. But, you know, do, do yourself a favor. Do your lineage a favor. And just bow your head and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. And, and recognize that he, he totally died on the cross for your sins. And just give your whole self to him. It'll be a new day for you. You know, accept that he died and he rose. And he is the living God. And we might not know what Bible is the correct Bible to read. But that's why we need to have it in our hearts and our spirits. You know, we don't die and just go to a... A grave, a hole in the in the earth, and nothing. You know that that's ridiculous to even think that. All of this energy would have been futile. It would have been done in vain. No, no rhyme or reason. And God, don't work that way, you guys. Heaven is real. Hell is real. You see, I have family members that think that we are living in hell, and and I don't believe that way. I do believe hell is real. It's a separate place. So just bow and, and, and invite God into your heart and ask Jesus into your heart and accept him as your personal savior. And, it, you know, it'll be a brand new day. But expect this, you guys. When you do that, Satan's going to be on you hot and heavy. That's just the way he works. He's lost a, he's lost a player in his game, a pawn in his game. And he's going to fight like all hell to get you back. But don't, don't give in to it. Don't. I'm serious. Do that for yourself and your family and anybody that you care about because the end is near. God is on the horizon. Can it get much worse? You guys, I'll see you real soon and we'll talk real fast. And y'all stay blessed, okay?